how to change video speed. Maybe you've got a clip that you want to speed up like this, or maybe you want to slow down your clip like this. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the speed of your video in just a few simple steps. Let's get started. First things first, in my internet browser, I'm gonna head over to veed.io, which is an online video editing software. If you haven't got an account, you can create one for free. And once you're on the homepage, you can click upload your video, then upload a file. And then I'm gonna select my video clip from the desktop and hit open. Once it's uploaded, you'll see your clip sitting down at the bottom of the screen in the video timeline. And now we're ready to make this clip play faster. To do that, I'm going to start by selecting the clip in the video timeline, which opens up the video properties over on the left-hand side. And if you scroll down this menu, you'll see the options for speed here. At the moment, it's on one, which means it's playing back at normal speed. So to speed it up, I'm gonna select a higher number from the options. By selecting times two, that's gonna play my video back at double the speed. You'll see that the clip now becomes shorter in the timeline. And now if I press play, you'll see that the clip is now much faster and it has an almost time-lapse effect. Now, let's take a look at how to slow your clip down. To do this, it's a very similar process, but let's quickly talk about frame rates. To get the best possible quality for your slow motion footage, you need to be aiming for some higher frame rates. At the very least, you should be shooting your footage at 50 or 60 frames per second, or if you can get to 125 frames per second, that's even better. The higher the frame rate, the better the footage, and the slower you can make it. And it will mean you get some nice, smooth, professional looking slow motion footage, rather than any stutters or jitters. I've imported a new example clip into the timeline which was recorded at 60 frames per second. So once again, I'm gonna select the clip in the timeline to open up the properties and then go over to my speed options and I'm going to select 0.5 and this is gonna slow down my footage by 50%. And now if I press play, you'll see that the clip is playing back in nice slow motion. But what if you just want to slow down a small section of your video? You might want to slow down a small portion of your clip to highlight a moment or just create some extra impact. To get this effect, I'm gonna select my clip in the timeline and then with the blue playhead, I'm gonna drag it to where I want the slow motion to start. So I'm gonna start mine about here. Now I'm gonna use the split tool, which is these scissors over here. And by clicking that, you'll see that it splits the clip in two. Now going back to the blue playhead, I'm gonna drag it to where I want my slow motion to stop. And once again, I'm gonna hit the scissors which makes another cut. So we've now separated a clip in the middle of the timeline that we want to give a slow motion effect to. So next, I'm just gonna zoom out of the timeline by hitting this minus icon here. And I'm gonna drag the end clip by selecting it, clicking and dragging it just to the end of the timeline because our middle clip that we cut out is going to get longer. So we need to make some space on the timeline. I'm now gonna select that middle clip, go back to my speed options and hit 0.5 and that has now made that portion longer and slower. And I'm now gonna drag my end clip back. And now if we drag our playhead to the start of the clip and hit play, you're gonna have a finished video where it plays at normal speed. And then when it gets to the middle portion, it's going to go slow motion. And if you want to make a portion of your clip faster, you can copy that exact same process, but selecting a faster speed from the options. So you're done editing and it's time to export the final product. All you need to do is head over to the top right hand corner of the editor, hit export, and then export video. And Veed will now start the render of your file. When it's finished, you can review the video one more time in this window. And if you're happy, you can just select download MP4 and Veed will now download your finished video to your computer. And that is how you change the speed of a video online. So let me know down in the comments below, are you gonna be speeding up your video? Are you gonna be slowing it down? And if you want some more easy to follow editing tutorials just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.